Hey everybody, it is Tuesday and it's two o'clock. So that means it is time for Top 5 Tuesday. And I'm your host from Crate Insider, Kate Dillon. So welcome to Top 5 Tuesday. Now, as you join in, um, I'm just gonna wait for a couple people to join in here. Oh, Daryl's here. Hey, Daryl, it's nice to see you. You know the deal. And oh, let me tell you about what I'm giving away this week. I'm pretty excited. This is something different, something we don't even sell in the store. But since we were talking about ProFab headers um, the, just a couple weeks ago, then ProFab has given me this awesome hat to give away on the show today. So here is a hat from ProFab, and all you need to do to enter my drawing here is just leave a comment. You can just say hi, you can leave an emoticon, um, whatever you wanna do there, just drop a comment over there, and when we get to the end of this video, then I'll bring up random number generator and just drop in however many comments there are, and it pops out a number, then I count how many comments you know, like if it's number five, then I just count down to the fifth comment and that's who wins. So it's really simple. I try to keep things really simple. Um, I know some people ask like, well, how are the comments numbered? They're not really numbered. It's just, I just, whatever order is on my screen is what we go with. So today we're giving away a ProFab hat. And you know, this is because we dealt with them directly to um, create a set of headers for a 604 dirt late model. Now they also have some asphalt headers that I'll be adding to the store here too probably within the next week. But if you wanna check out those headers, I'm, I'm actually all prepared today. So I have links already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop links in while I'm talking and that way you guys can see them. And don't worry if my comment is the one that's uh, called, then obviously I wouldn't, uh, obviously I'm not gonna win the hat. I'm giving this away. So that's, that's what I wanted to give away this week. Now for what I wanna talk about, Gosh, I really struggled on what to talk about because there's like so many things going on. I mean, for one, I was on vacation last week. That was a great break. It was really fun to kind of get away and just kind of chill for a few days. And, you know, it's just nice to take that deep, you know, nice big breath of fresh air and just kind of relax. And so I hope you guys are are putting some vacation into your schedules. I mean, we are getting to the end of race season. Um, I just want to say, like, it's it's warm today. Um, let me show you. See, look, it's like 77 degrees today. People are, when I look on Instagram and people are, it's snowing and they've got wearing sweaters and drinking pumpkin spice lattes. And I'm over here like, well, I'm wearing like a polo or, or a tank top because it's still warm. And I'm good with that. Like it can stay warm as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so tell me if you guys agree, if you think it should be warm or you're ready for pumpkin spice lattes. I don't know. Um, so that's what we got. Oh, um, I also want to mention too, have you guys registered for the Drive Virtual Trade Show yet? Because it's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to actually exhibit for Crate Insider and it's a trade show that's online. So you don't have to get in the car. You don't have to worry about parking or hotels because believe me, I know how expensive that stuff is because uh, I'm getting all geared up to go to PRI this year. And in fact, if you've already made your hotel reservations and need to change anything, my public service announcement of today is that we have until Friday the 19th to modify our hotel reservations. So just throwing that out there if you already made a reservation, but you need to change anything. And I, I'm just telling you that because it's just on my radar and it's something I have to I have to move some stuff around um, but anyway I want to talk to you about the online trade show the drive uh, put together by my friend Jason Atkins and it's going to be online and the thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to register beforehand and I will in fact here we go I'll tell you the dates here so the it's going to happen online November 8th through the 10th and what's cool is that the manufacturers will be right right there online to answer any questions for you. They're going to have their featured items. You'll see some new products. I know one of the exhibitors I've talked to, um, he's any sponsorship that he's planning to do for next year, he's going to make the decision based on the people he talks to at the virtual trade show. They're also, so that's totally separate, but the, the drive themselves, they're trying to really encourage getting those free registrations in or the attended, attendee registrations, again, which is free. But because of that, they're doing a contest. And in the next week or so, they're going to be giving away world finals ticket, 
Or you can choose, if you can't travel to Charlotte for World Finals, you could choose to have it as a pay-per-view from Dirt on Dirt. So you would have total access to the World Finals. And if you haven't been, it's a really cool deal. Uh, truthfully, now I go to the event the week before, which is the Short, short Track World Championships. And in fact, if you guys are going to Short Track World Championships, like tell me in here, because I'll be walking around and that way I can keep my eye out or actually keep your eye out for me and stop me. I'll be doing driver interviews and I don't know, I'll just be talking, you know, doing my thing, <laughs> talking to people, answering questions, you know, things like that. So, which I absolutely love to do. So I'm looking forward to that. That um, Short Track World Championships is coming up October 26th and 20. Well, I actually think they start on the 25th for practicing or qualifying or something, but I'll be there the 26th and the 27th. And then that World Finals event is that first weekend of November, which would be like the second and third would be that Friday and Saturday. So anyway, that's just a little bit of what's going on in the next couple of weeks. And go ahead and click on that link and that'll that will take you over to the drive and you can just fill out the information. It will take you, I don't know, a minute and a half maybe to register and then you'll have a chance to win those tickets. So with that, oh, actually one more thing before I jump into Top 5 Tuesday. Um, I was reminded last week because I forgot as a... Uh, if you know what my sign said last week, go ahead and drop that into the comments because I'll do a separate drawing for that. In fact, you know what? I've got some Crate Insider t-shirts in here. Hang on just a second. I've got, actually I have a whole pile of them in here. Why I don't have a whole pile of t-shirts in my office, I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, one of our black Crate Insider t-shirts here with our one source for crate racing tech and more. Oh, there we go. There we go. So Crate Insider t-shirt. I just got a new shipment of them. So I have every single size imaginable, if I can say those words. And so if you remember what my sign said last week, go ahead and drop that as a comment. And I will take a look at those and we'll do a separate drawing for those at the end of the video. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into Top 5 Tuesday. So in the number five spot, is an item that's right here in my office and it happens to be that right there so the wrench boss i mean and, and let me know i i see i think it's going to be a disaster if i try to take that down like wrenches are going to go flying all over the place um <laughs> i just think it looks cool so that's why i kept it in my office after it was top five tuesday you can see how how big it is and these come you can get them as red or black they can be standard or metric. And let me tell you the sizes. They'll go from 11 30 seconds all the way up to inch and a quarter. But you can have them cut down to smaller sizes. So all of that is available. Oh, goodness. And it's the one I was going to be prepared with links, but now I'm not. So I'm going to do top five, do the top five in the comments after the video. So I will drop those links in there. But the Wrench Boss, it runs $29.95. And it gets uh, free shipping. So free shipping with with uh, the wrench boss. So there we go. And in the number four spot, move, and moving on to number four, we have our Walker air filter. So these are an oiled filter, but they come pre-oiled. So this way they're ready to roll, ready to drop right onto your car. Um, they are, we call them a four inch filter because they are four inch, the element itself is a four inches and I should probably move my microphone so you guys can hear me better here. Um, but the element itself is four inches, but by the time you put all the urethane and stuff and it's, you can see it's a nice soft, I mean, I don't want to say sticky, but you want it to have that tack to it so that it actually sticks to your to your air filter base and to your lid and really gets a nice tight seal on those. So this is our Walker air filter and it runs $99 and that's in the number four spot. In the number three spot this week is a really popular product, um, really popular on Top 5 Tuesday. And I'm really glad to see, I've heard a couple of uh, comments um, just you know, talking to people on the phone. So some po folks have started using this on in their uh, towing vehicles because it's gonna help save gas mileage. Most guys, however, do use this in their race cars because it's going to cut down on friction and therefore when anytime we can cut down on friction we're going to increase horsepower or release more horsepower more accurately and um, it's also great for your engine too so it's used as an oil additive and the XL1 this is the 64 ounce so you get like four oil changes out of this bottle and this runs 75.83 so you would just put some of the engine treatment um, like 16 ounces for every time you change your oil and you'll be good to go. Next up in the number two spot this week 
is on my shelf back here is our set of 602 matched valve springs now for anyone who has a question these are just straight up gm valve springs but what we do is we open up dozens of boxes of these and we rate them all and then we get rid of the bad ones and then for the good ones then we repackage them into you'll see you'll get a bag that's intake and then the other one that says exhaust on it so it's really clear um really clear cut and so our match sets of 602 valve springs they run 99.75 and now this week in the top spot um, is and this has always been a very popular product of ours since we started carrying them these are our anti-reversion mufflers they were designed by hendron racing engines produced by dynatech and um oh look at that they're like Ooh. Um, anyway, that was kind of fun. It was making a weird echo when I was doing this. So I was like, oh, let's check that out. Anyway, the way these work and why they're so effective is, I don't know if you can see this. Oh yeah, you totally can. That's awesome. All right. So the whole idea is when exhaust is coming out of your engine and that there's always going to be a little bit of that dead exhaust gas that's going to be hanging out at the end of, of, your, of your system there. So what happens here when your engine opens up for the next pulse that, and it wants to create suction and pull anything that's in those headers, it wants to pull it back into the engine. Well, that pocket that's on the inside will snag that and that way you can get a nice clean, fresh air charge going into your engine and as a result, you get more torque. I mean, that's really what we're looking for. I mean, they can look pretty, but what we really want is for performance. And so the anti-reversion mufflers, this happens to be the set that's uh, meant for three inch collectors. So it's a three inch in and a three inch out. And these run 219.98 for a pair. So with that, I'm gonna start taking a look at some of the comments here and see what I've missed here. And then I'll make comments as I go. So let's see here. Oh, great. I, I see, um, like, Mike, you're going to be at the Short Track World Championships. It's awesome. Um, do not talk about pictures. I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to, Dustin. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, thank you for the fast shipping on my parts. Dave, I'm so glad you're happy with that. We try to get stuff out the door as quickly as we can. Chain or timing gears? I don't have any of those. I'm always... Always adding more stuff though. Um, hello from Jones Racing number 10. Marshall, thank you for being here. And oh, we've got from Minnesota. Scott's here from Minnesota. And oh, yep, I got one here with the, got a couple of them with the few of them actually. Some good, good ones on remember, um, that remembering my, my uh, sign from last week there. Let's see. And Carl and Leanne Bachevsky are, are here. Great. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. And excellent. So great. So we've got lots of comments in. Let me bring up random number generator. I'm going to do this a couple of times. So got that up and wrong screen. There we go. So for the hat, number 20, scroll up here. So Scott, Scott, you just won the ProFab hat. And now I've got to do another quick little drawing here for the uh, for my sign here. So got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the winner is. Eric Larson. So Eric, you win a shirt and um, gosh, who did I say won the hat? I just told you guys, but <laughs> um, I don't know. I came a little, I, well, we, I can always look back on the video so nobody can trick me. But anyway, all you need to do for those, for your winners, please just send me a private message with your address and I will get those items out to you. In the meantime, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching and I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday at two o'clock for Top 5 Tuesday. Have a great weekend.